Okay, I think this thing's running. Uh, greetings from Illinois. This is Eddie's Pottery, and uh, for those of you who have, uh, let's say, uh, made a rotary sieve that I have listed on uh, YouTube, uh, I am getting ready to make something, an addition to the rotary sieve that will help it. And because when I was out visiting in Pennsylvania, there in Milheim with, with Simon Leach, uh, we both agreed that when you're using powders, this rotary sieve is, is going to go so fast and get everything done, he suggested also that uh, uh, a lid could possibly be used. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a lid for... Uh, the rotary sieve. It's just just a it's just a standard lid for a five gallon bucket. Um, you now everybody knows that if you've paid attention to the dimensions on the rotary sieve, the shaft that comes out of the sieve is three eighths of an inch. You you will need to use a uh, half inch drill bit, and all you got to do is just Drill that in the center, and then I'm going to step over on the other side of my shop here, and we're, I'm going to I'm going to make a couple of cuts, and it's going to be done. So uh, then we'll go check and see how well it's going to fit on top of it. I mean, all it's got to do is cover it up so all the dust doesn't go everywhere. And and I'm going to tell you what, uh, you won't have to wear a mask. <laughs> And I know that a lot of people don't, but, you know, you should if you're working with powders. So, let me, let me uh, get this started, and uh, I will uh, uh, get all this put together. Okay, let's go over here and cut a piece out of it that I have drawn a line. I'm just going to take a, my uh, uh, standard uh, saw and we'll go over here on the other side here. Okay, I'm just going to take my saw, and this will be the quickest way I can think of, and
Okay. It's crude, but uh, this will work. This will work good. That way it's, well, let me, let me trim this, just this one piece for just a second here on the end. All right, now that we've got that cut, if you remember the video where the shaft is that comes up to where you crank the handle, uh, it will, uh, should fit right in there. You put the lid over it and none of the dust or, or, or powders or whatever should, should come back out of there when you're cranking that handle. Now, if you're using a liquid, you don't have to worry about a liquid, you know, uh, being, uh, uh, let's say, uh, splashed uh, back at you because, you know, you're, you're controlling the actual speed of uh, the handle. So, uh, okay, turn my saw off, get everything unplugged. Hey, it's good as gold, and let's go see if it'll fit on the sieve okay oh okay we're recording again now everybody everybody that's watched the the rotary sieve the rotary sieve videos um, if you've watched the rotary sieve videos you understand uh, what what we made and also this lid all it needs to do is just slide right in there and cover cover it up. That's all it has to do. You do that right there when you're turning when you're turning this. Uh, all that all the powders and stuff will not be kicked back up at you, and uh, so that that way it holds the dust and everything back inside of it. So, and the reason that you know uh, you need you need to take precaution, and this is not only a precaution, uh, uh, it'll help save some of your 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 powder or whatever that you're trying to uh, sieve and strain or whatever. Now, if when you're using a liquid, you won't need this at all. But uh, on powders, you should take a little extra precaution on it. Now, just to re let everybody know on that last video that I did with making the bats, what I did was I made a bunch of square ones. I went and cut the corners off and turned them into stop signs, and they fit on on the wheel real nicely. So uh, uh, hey, that's what I went and done. And uh, that way, uh, there's not a corner or anything sticking out past the actual wheel itself. And, you know, hey, they're going to work nice. And uh, uh, I'll be showing you on some of the pieces that I make using these bats. So, uh, hey, remember about the lid for the sieve and what, what, what you can do on the bats. That way you don't have to make it. it it's quicker if you don't have to use a jigsaw and cut a circle. You can just take a saw and chop it off and be done with it. Hey, so on the next project I'm working on right now and I'm getting ready to um, starting the video on it uh, is, is something else you're really going to be pleased with. So, hey, this is Eddie, Eddie's Pottery. Hey, uh, I'll keep suggesting things that will help you in making your pottery and uh, uh, that way uh, uh, everybody's everybody's happy and I'm trying to save you some money so hey uh, that's the important thing bye for now